Welcome to Chem Help ASAP. This, uh, this video is going to be a little more difficult as an orbital picture. We're going to do formamid, and formamid has some complicating factors to it. So I'm going to work quickly through what we know about this molecule. This carbon in formamid is sp2 hybridized. We're going to draw the oxygen as if it's, it's sp2 hybridized so we can make the double bond between carbon and oxygen. And then we'll fill in the, the nitrogen at the end. I'm going to draw this a little bit at an angle. Um, this carbon is going to have a p orbital. And I don't know what this is. You know, we, we can arbitrarily say it's the pz. But if we choose pz, then this oxygen must also be pz. Um, sometimes you're, you can choose your axes arbitrarily, but we just need to make sure we have the same axis for the oxygen and carbon. And we will have off oxygen kind of a hybrid orbital sticking off there with our lone pair. This is, since I've drawn this at a tilt, it's hard to really be particular about this. But I, I'm not worried about the pi bond. We've drawn pi bonds in other molecules. This carbon is going to have a hydrogen coming off who knows where, somewhere, because again, we've tilted the whole picture. But this is where it gets special. Okay, whoops, all kinds of stuff going on. Um, here we have this nitrogen. And this nitrogen is going to be odd. So normally we would say that nitrogen is sp3 because it has three attached atoms and a lone pair. But remember when we talked about hybridization, I said lone pairs do not always require a hybrid. This is one of those cases, and we'll see why. So the nitrogen lone pair actually is going to be in a p orbital. This nitrogen is sp2 hybridized. It has a leftover p orbital. And that leftover p orbital is going to be a pz. And so let's just drop that lone pair right in that PZ. The reason that lone pair chooses to have a P orbital instead of a hybrid is because it's next door to another P or atom with a P orbital. And this opens up an idea called resonance. Now, we're not going to really appreciate resonance till later in the course. But we have to have an open mind to the fact that this can happen. Now, this nitrogen is also going to have two hydrogens off of it, coming off in some direction or another. And that's approximately correct. So this is an sp2 hybrid, uh, hybridized nitrogen. So again, I want to take the opportunity of this video to poke on this idea that lone pairs are not always in hybrid orbitals. And we want to keep that in our mind because we're, that's going to become a very important idea later in the course. We need to be ready to receive that when it comes along. Otherwise, we're just going to forget. So this is the orbital picture for, for, for formamid as a pi bond. It's drawn just the way we all drew all of our other pi bonds, but it also has this kind of weird nitrogen in which the lone pair sits in a p orbital.